Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash money play video for you. Uh, today I'm be going over a defensive scheme that I've been using to a lot of success lately. It's about four plays. Um, these plays are going to get you sacks, takeaways, turnovers, interceptions. It's also going to be a great defense for critical situations like red zone. Uh, it's also going to be really good for third and long, fourth and long, you name it. This is probably one of my favorite defenses right now. It's a really good defensive scheme. And it's out of the Big Dime 146. If you have the dollar defense, you can use that also. It's going to be in there as well. Just going to be a slightly different setup when it comes to certain things. But if you play, if you run a 3-4, it's the Big Dime 146. The first play that I'm going to show is going to be the cross 3-5. I've got a lot of people that ask me questions like, how do you stop slants? How do you stop crossers? How do you stop stuff over the middle? This is going to be one of the best defenses in the game for that. Now, I don't recommend running this defense all the time because you can see there's some pretty big gaps when it comes to, uh, to run plays, which my first opponent here is going to figure out pretty quick. But second to goal from the 11, I don't have a lot of worry that he's going to run it in from this distance. And there's some adjustments that you can make also that I'll talk about here in a minute. But all I really did was zone all linebackers. Now, because I have five linebackers on the field because they're also playing the defensive ends, a lot of times the linebackers will drop back off the defensive end spot. So you might have to reset them. But you can see, I mean, I'm still getting pretty good pressure from the one guy on the side. You can see that I have basically what looks like a four quarters look right over the center of the field. Look how evenly spaced they are. There's nothing that's going to come open over the middle of the field here. We all know how hard it is to beat a regular cover four. This is like a cover four right over the center of the field, which is, you know, that's ideal. How hard is that going to be to stop? You're basically changing the pattern from cover four deep to cover four middle. And then you can see, like I said, my opponent figures out pretty quickly that he's not going to be able to throw against that. The very next play, he tries to run a hurry up and run a, a run play right up the middle. Like I said, I'll go over an adjustment that you can, you know, make this a little bit better of a run defense in a minute. But for the most part, I want to stay in this look because it really is going to help out when it comes to some of the blitzes that I'm going to show as well. Just be aware, I'm showing this in a lot of different goal line sets. Just be aware, you can't necessarily run this uh, too close. So like I said, six yards out. This particular opponent was pretty pass heavy, so I felt comfortable trying to uh, run this play against him. But you can see eventually after making a bunch of audibles and adjustments that he decides he's going to try to hit with an inside zone. You're going to run into that quite a bit. Uh, so be aware of that. There is an adjustment that you can make though to make this a better run defense. It just doesn't necessarily mirror the pre previous looks or the uh, the other looks I'm going to show you as far as the blitzes go. So all you really have to do to make this a better run defense is, in this particular defense is you have to uh, pinch your linebackers. That's all you have to do. And you can see here, it basically turns into like a five defensive set. My my player that I was using was supposed to be on the line as well, but I kept him back. And then you can see once again, same exact result. There's nowhere to throw. Opponent gets a, uh, he gets, you know, basically just has to take a sack because he can't go anywhere with the ball. That's something that you're going to run into quite a bit. So like I said, there is an answer as far as making this a better run defense just pinch the linebackers and you can see it turns into this look right here now i have basically what looks like a sugar looker like a five uh, i'm sorry a three through five which is something i run quite a bit so you have a pretty stout it takes away the gaps you have a pretty stout look and then like i said it doesn't change anything as far as zone all and you're going to run into uh and run into this issue where there's just nowhere to throw you're going to check down pretty much every time take a couple yards at best and it's going to be a pretty shut down defense and like i said i pretty much use this in a lot of money situations right here 39 i typically either send a house blitz or I'll drop everybody back like I am here and you can see there's really nowhere to go now on this particular play I tried to reset like I said I tried to send three I know in certain leagues you got to do that so I tried to there but he called the play too quick I actually got stuck on my defensive tackle and had to drop back with the defensive tackle so that can happen if you run this out of the dollar you won't have that problem because the dollar has two defensive ends and a defensive tackle but if you run out of the one four six you almost have to reset them to blitz once again the outside linebackers whoever you want to blitz you have to reset them so if you're in a league and they have a rule that you have to blitz at least three people, which I typically try to do because, you know, you want to get some pressure on the quarterback. Uh, just make sure you run out of the dollar if you have that choice. Now, there are a couple of other blitzes that I run out of this. The DB sting I went over previously. This is part of the reason that you're seeing my opponent throw the ball so quickly uh, when it comes to me dropping everybody back. All you have to do to make this play successful is bring these guys, these blitzing cornerbacks, as close to the line as possible. Put them on a QB contain, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and this is going to be, you know, the blitz is what makes your opponent throw the ball so fast. These these 
cornerbacks will come off the edge. Uh, typically, people don't block enough players to, to basically take these guys away. And one of them is going to come screaming in here to the point where they're going to be thrown really quick. Gotcha, bitch. And then you can see right here, I drop back into the passing lanes. That's one of the things. This entire scheme is all about mixing up your opponent's timing when it comes to uh, their pass plays. You can see here once again, my opponent's in a third and 28. I'm going to send an all-out blitz just trying to you know maybe get a safety on them. And you're going to see I typically use one of these linebackers right over the guards. Um, to the wide receiver side like this side there's three wide receivers on the right so i'm going to use the guy there drop back into the lane take away these lanes and the blitz comes in pretty quickly most times your opponent typically won't have time for uh long man beaters but they'll they'll typically try like my opponent right here anytime i see this particular formation i'm pretty sure and i'm pretty comfortable it's going to be the pa crossers because that's what people will try to do when they see man coverages man one man zero they're going to try to beat it with deep crossers over the middle but like i said given the fact that these cornerbacks come in so fast uh they're typically not going to have time to get that throw off anyway but you have to cut off that deep cross you can see right there i called the play out Knew exactly what it was, uh, but the blitz came in and took took care of the play. But you have to take away those deep. You have to be aware of those deep crossers. That'll be the biggest issue. Uh, the next play that I also run is also the DB sting to buzz. Now this year, uh, I've run a couple different ways this year. I find it's best to just keep it uniform, looking the same. Just bring these guys into the QB contains one more time. Uh, like I said, this is something that you know if you keep this this look going consistently people won't necessarily know what they're looking at and then you can see right here i mean you know the the heat is going to force quick passes your opponent will not they'll get to a point where they're going to be scattered brained they're going to be throwing quick passes the entire game and then that's when you mix it up and then you mix it with the uh, with the crossfire blitz drop everybody back and next thing boom they're throwing right into uh the throwing interceptions so that's one of the things about this defensive scheme that's so successful you just have to know uh when to mix it up when to throw in these uh these zone coverages uh and they're you know they're not going to be expecting them and then boom they'll be throwing a lot of picks if you like to run more cover threes there's also going to be a cover three version uh called the spinner dog three Pretty much the exact same setup once again. I mean, there's no real, you know, changes here. All I'm going to do is QB contain, bring these guys on the outside into the QB contain lanes if I can. I try to bring this guy in to uh, hover over the guard one more time. As you can see, I get in a little bit late. But it doesn't change the fact that the pressure comes in really fast. Uh, and you can see, I mean, even with, when you're playing against a guy like Lamar Jackson or a speed quarterback or a Michael Vick in Mutt, whatever, what have you, uh, you're going to have to have that type, of, that type of speed to control these guys. And then, you know, to confuse your opponent further, you want to mix in this look once again you know bring these guys in make it look like they're coming in on the blitz one more time you know what i mean Have, make your opponent think you're, they're looking at the same play and they're going to be thrown in the crowds you can see once again he expected the blitz coming the second he sees me moving those cornerbacks into the line he thinks i'm running one of those outside edge blitzes and he basically just throws the ball right into the crowd because he was expecting me to be sending some crazy heat on the very next play you can see once again uh, i try to do that look one more time he sees it you can see how well they cover the streaks you know what i mean they, they, these these hook zones will flip their hips and they will cover these streaks deep which is really nice because the cover threes have issues with streaks so it's nice to see a defense that, that can take care of both and then you can see my opponent here basically has to turn to a running quarterback which i'm sure he doesn't mind uh but anytime you run with the quarterback you're, you're gonna put this you're gonna put this possibility out there you're gonna be fumbling for touchdowns so that's it that's the video we'll go ahead and we'll end it there on a fumble six if you guys want to see more videos like this more gameplay schemes like this let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below